everyone, it's Walker at Full Spectrum Laser and today I want to show you in a software tutorial how to do object packing. Some people call this nesting. Um, it's just essentially to duplicate and sort of put all your objects in one area for efficiency. So let's show you how to do so. Zoom in. This was just somebody's project I found up on the uh, on the workspace. So why not mess with it? Um, first, we're going to select our project. This is, could be any project. It could be a handful of tags, keychains, whatever your mass production may be. First, we're going to make sure that it is grouped. So let's go ahead and group that. And now it is grouped. We're going to copy and paste. We could just, uh, you know, do it on here. But I'm going to Control C, which is copy, and Control V, and then continue to do so. You'll see it lay on top of just a little offset. So I'll do the same thing: Control V, which is paste, and you'll notice that it gets darker. And darker. There's a handful of them uh, just being added. It's a little bit of a complicated vector, so it takes a little longer. But um, now we're going to select all of them. And on the right hand side, you'll see the packing options pop up. We have packing. We can add a padding, which is how close you want it or how far you want it. Any offsets you want, let's say our material is 12 by 12. Um, that's perfect for this example. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and pack the objects. Wait for all those vectors, because now we have vectors and groups of vectors um, crunching that data and then uh, optimizing it for your 12 by 12 area and we'll take a look and see how that is. Our Pro uh, 24 that we're using today is way over there in the warehouse. So again, takes a little bit longer than normal, especially with all these uh, vectors. If you just have bitmap data, uh, it would be a lot faster. Here we go. <laughs> Communication is not so good. Maybe I should do this next to the machines, but this is real life, no editing. And here we go. So it automatically groups them. Um, and it, I mean, it's fairly standard. This is something that's really awesome and easy to use. I will say that no matter what, uh, computer setup is not going to always be the best way to pack an object. You can even cram a little bit more if you wanted to take the time yourself and uh, tweak all of these things. Um, so you could like rotate these objects slightly and have them fit into one another a little bit better, but I mean, you're probably not going to save that much material. So. That's how you do object packing, um, nesting, whatever you want to call it in this software, RE3, it is called uh, packing. So very straightforward. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comment section and we will answer them. Uh, and until next time, keep making.